Right, part two of um, the Taro ZYX uh, camera gimbal stabilizer. Now, I was sent this by Infinity Hobbies a couple of weeks ago. I've now had it two weeks up and running, done some flying, um, had a bit of time to play with the software. Um, to start with, it went pretty good. I was I was happy with it. After three or four flights. Um, it started to lock out during flight, of which I'll put a video up um, and show you this. Now, um, all I can get to work is tilt, which still works okay. Uh, roll just doesn't work; it's it's you can't use it. And uh, pan, even though I'm not using pan from the radio. Um, pan seems to have a mind of its own and just continues to rotate. Um, what I don't like about the software is if you look at the screen there's no way of calibrating the gyro. Okay so after you've gone to the website that you purchased your tarot unit from download this software um, plug it in to your computer, select your <coughs> your port, mind port five, tell it to open, <coughs> and uh, everything will pop up. <coughs> okay, so here we have um, my pan, which has stopped now, but just now that number was continually running tilt and roll so what this does is as you pick up the gimbal and move it and tilt it and rotate it you'll see that the numbers will move correspondingly there's no way of calibrating the gyro. Um, okay, so when you get it, first put in these numbers 100%. What this is is a total gain. So you can set this to 200, 150, whatever you want. Doesn't really matter. I set mine to 100. Um, then position gain is basically a, a percentage of that. So effectively, if this was 100, you would then have a hundred percent gain because that's as much as you can wind the gain up to. Um, this will only go to two hundred and fifty-five, so which is which is too high. Okay, so that's basically a percentage of the total gain. Um, integral gain and velocity gain are just numbers you'll have to play with as to how far and how um, over correction how much correction you, that you get servo trim is when you uh, set up your servo centers or your gimbal if your gimbal doesn't sit flat and level you'll want to add a number in here being a minus or a plus um, to correct your gimbal to make it flat and level before you plug any servos in um, you really need to plug it in the computer select your servo type so you have a few options here um, hopefully they'll release a few more options obviously JR and stuff and high tech have different centers so hopefully there'll be more options or a way of calibrating it later on um, in maybe a software update would, would be really nice. Standard servos are for servos on your gimbal using potentiometers. Otherwise use velocity servo. Okay, lock in mode and follow mode. Follow mode I can't get working. So I don't know if that is related to the velocity option. 
but it works fine on lock-in mode so leave it on lock-in mode your maximum angles is how far you want your gimbal to tilt so on roll I've just got mine 44 degrees left and right um, on my tilt four on my gimbal is flat and level and minus 74 is actually 90 degrees on my slider so, <clears throat> so my gimbal travels 90 degrees with those numbers uh, pan I've just got 10 10 and 10 because you have to put a number in so it sees it um, at this stage you cannot select these boxes but I'm not using a pan servo so right now it doesn't matter after making a change any change in here always click right settings to flash okay so that will upload it when you're finished putting numbers in and getting your gimbal correct you can save your configuration okay, so I've got flying setup one then if you have any problems or you want to make changes you could then always go back to this being your original and then re-upload it so it's pretty user friendly your sensor here you can have face up or face down what that means is your sensor here is facing up being a, it's on top of the gimbal face down if it's on the underside okay um, the other thing which isn't really clear in the instructions it is actually an arrow here it must face the right hand side of the gimbal it is not the front do not face it forwards it's face it to the right one thing I did find um, by trial and error is what I did was with the servos which are um, you know, gimbal servos unplug it plug it in the receiver turn on your transmitter and center the servos I was chasing servo centers for ages trying to get the gimbal to be in the right position until I centered the servo on the radio and uh, it all came right so really important plug your servo into your receiver turn on your transmitter center the servo then unplug it and put it back into the control unit um, for some reason my roll is all out of kilter it was working for the first two or three flights then it started cutting out now it just it's completely useless um, so I'm not quite sure why which is really strange because when I tilt the unit the numbers actually change on the screen so pan roll tilt so it knows what it's doing but um, won't work once I pair it up okay so you want to make those changes with the servo here off then click on servo on and your gimbal will then become live and the servos will then operate and work as normal when the servo reaches a stop or travels too far or jams up or if you have servo reverse in the wrong direction then this will turn off 
and go back to servo off and stop working when this happens you need to center your servos to get your gimbal lined up and then turn them back on again okay so mine set up here I'm gonna click servo on plug the power in light flashes three times and then it will turn blue so that's um, like calibrated okay see so elevator is fine on a tilt but you'll notice my roll doesn't work but if I turn my gimbal all the way over to here now my gimbal is working so I don't understand it's completely out of whack it still tilts still rolls but at 45 degrees no roll we'll go the other way it comes up with error so it's gone to blue and red now the whole unit has has died the only way to get that working again is to unpower it plug the power back in again okay see so you'll notice now that servo off has now come on because it's reached its limit so now it won't work until I, I reset the servo on function so I'll click servo on servo on successful now it's now it's working you'll notice that when the servo is when the servos are on and the gimbal's working you cannot change your servo type they are greyed out so you can't change them okay what I found was with integral gain if you wind it up too much um, it overcompensates the gain so what happens is the servo becomes jittery and it oscillates so what I did was I kept winding the number down until it became nice and smooth and if you hold the frame you can feel it in the airframe so just keep winding that down until the oscillation or the overcompensation stops which is about there how I set mine up was I bound a second receiver to my transmitter so what I've done is I have a receiver on the hexacopter which is totally independent to this because I don't want a servo binding and drawing lots of current and causing the con flight controller to to fail um, and resulting in a crash so I've got a separate battery supply to a second receiver bound to the same radio and I use this for the tilt control on my transmitter so I'll unplug the computer turn on my radio
Okay, so my gimbal's working. Okay, I'm trying to hold the gimbal and flick my transmitter here. So here we have flight mode one. If I flick my switch, we have flight mode two. Look at my switch. We now have flight mode three. Okay, so that's the three positions set up on your transmitter to give you proportional travel, return to center travel, and to turn your pan off for when you are taking the model off. So basically on my tilt my slider fast it moves faster it tilts center switch rotates back to center and travel the full 90 degrees set up in the distance on the software and number three is full travel one way or the other so it's not proportional it's full travel so halfway look is still full travel Okay, and this one see, is now proportional. As I move the stick, the gimbal will move a little bit at a time. All right, so that's because I want to operate my gimbal from the radio that I'm flying at the same time.